Have you ever tried to import a model from Blender, only to have it come with weird rotations and scale? Here's how you can easily fix that issue, as well as what you should care about when exporting your models. I have a simple shield model here. First, make sure you have applied your transforms to have the correct rotation and scales for your object. Select the object, press Ctrl A and select Rotation and Scale. To export the model, make sure the object is selected, go into File, Export and choose FBX. Turn on selected objects to export only the selected objects. Then click on Mesh to make sure you are exporting only meshes. Under Transform, select Apply Transform. This will fix the scale and rotations from the models inside Unity. If your object is facing Blender's front camera, you don't need to change the Z forward direction. You can deselect big animations if you have animations you don't want to export. You can leave the other options as they are, just make sure that in geometry you have apply modifiers turned on. You can press the plus button under operator presets to save the settings for later. You can click the operator presets to reset the default values or select the preset you just saved to load them. Hit the export FBX button to save it. Drop the FBX inside your Unity project and drag it to the scene. If you have your object being put inside the plane like this, make sure you have the center point position set up here. If you have it set to the object's pivot position, it will try to put the pivot position where it hits the plane. As you can see, the rotation and scales are properly set up, as well as the model thumbnails. Let's select local transforms to show the local object's rotation as well. The blue arrow is unit's forward direction that you get when you're using transform but forward, so it's important that it's pointing to the direction that you expect. Now, let's export a model that uses multiple materials and textures. Repeat the same steps and load your export FBX presets. You can save the FBX and manually copy these textures to Unit later, or if you don't know where the textures are, you can select the path mode to copy, and it will copy all the textures into a folder with the same name as the file. Pressing this icon will instead embed the textures inside the FBX. Back into Unity, you see that we don't have the textures yet. You can manually copy them to the folder and have the FBX try to auto-detect them, or you can extract the materials and manually set the textures yourself inside the materials. If you choose the embedded options, you'll need to select the model and click Unpack Texture. This will copy the textures from the FBX into a folder for you to use. You might get this warning if you have normal textures. Hit Fix Now and it will set the image type to normal. Now let's export multiple models. With the object selected, click on the Transform tool and set the option to Local. This will allow you to see the object axis. By default, Unity's forward direction will be Blender's minus Y direction. Here, the shield is still pointing forward, but the spear point has its forward direction upwards. Select both objects and export them as usual. Multiple objects will always be parented when object facing forwards. Even if you change the forward direction in the export settings, it will only affect the direction of the individual objects inside. And inside, you will have the objects with their own local rotations. Finally, let's talk about characters with armatures and animations. Here, I have a model with several actions for each animation. Make sure to select both the armature and the mesh. You can shift click to select both or right click and select higher. Make sure to select both the armature and the mesh. Make sure bake animations is turned on and disable NLA strips. This will make sure that NLAs are not baked into an extra layer if you have them. On armature, make sure to disable add leaf bones. This will add an extra bone to all the bone endings. Some applications require this but game engines don't need this, and it will just add up to our performance for the extra empty game objects. The only deform bone options will remove all the bones except for the bones that deform the mesh. You can use this to make sure you're not exporting bones from your control rig, but this can cause problems if your deformed bones are based on the non-deformed bones, like rig 5 rigs. Having done all that, hit export. Now into Unity, you can see the model working. If you select the animation tab, you see all the animations were properly exported with the FBX. And that's it. I hope this helps clarify how to correctly import Blender models into Unity. Thank you for watching, and until next time.